Yes, thanks. Um, I think I, I agree with my colleagues here on many points, but I think really the challenge that we've had is this takeover held great promise. And for a number of reasons, including the pandemic and including the fact that, that the Rhode Island Department of Education already has a track record of adding multiple layers of bureaucracy onto local departments. We, we've seen really poor results. And I think the answer is we need to have a strategy to return control to, to our local authorities. Now, in terms of specifically of our um, teachers' morale, I had the opportunity early last year to serve a brief period of time as a substitute teacher at Mount Pleasant, and that was an incredibly eye-opening experience. And really, the, the most, the really, the most disheartening thing I saw was the morale among the teachers it was incredibly low. You know, they are teaching in a very challenging environment, but also the politics that have surrounded the, the takeover have become. There's so much acrimony and so much anger and so much finger pointing between the different parties. And many teachers who are thoughtful, caring teachers feel like they've been caught in that crossfire. And it's really unfortunate because, you know, in, in general, when we talk about education, it's easy to point to educator as part of the problem. And in Providence, we know that our teachers have been vilified significantly. Yet, when a teacher leaves Providence, they have three to four immediate job offers in high-performing districts. So it really makes you wonder, you know, what, what is it that, that we're doing wrong here? And as my colleagues indicated, there, we really need to uh, provide consistency, long-term curriculums, long-term action plans, um, a management structure that's not shifting every couple of years, um, accountability measures for our teachers, and, and also um, adequate pay so that that's competitive with more suburban districts. And the other thing I have is, I would like to see is an opportunity for us to diversify our ranks of teachers, specifically by creating a home ownership opportunity program that would be extended to teachers and other municipal employees. For years and years and years, we had residency in Providence. And about 15 years ago, the legislature got rid of residency and people could live wherever they wanted to, which is fine. But I believe that we can have a, a home buyer assistance program that gives people help with their down payment in exchange for them living in the home for a period of time. And that's something that has been done in other places and I think we can apply that here and I think that would be incredibly helpful to have folks who not only are vested professionally in their communities but also have a personal stake as taxpayers, as neighbors. They're going to run into their students and families at the market. I think there's a lot of value in that.